hello and welcome back to my channel it is jasmine thank you so much for clicking on this video to see what we are going to be doing today okay so today is bujo which is bullet journaling so i will be bullet journaling in here oh so you know people have asked me you know what does my bullet journal look like what does it consist of so i can't really show you too much but you know little snippets of what I do in it. I do prayers. Now this was one that I just did. I didn't do anything there. And then, you know, here, over here on this side. So this is, I was using this particular one for homeschool. Um, that's this current week. And then um, we're gonna do this week. And I haven't decided what I wanna do with it. But since I have an extra spread, I can pretty much do whatever I want with it. Um, I may use it for homeschooling again. I don't know. We will have to see. So, but we are going to outline. We're going to do that. Ta-da! All done. We got our octagons drawn out. Um, they are so pretty right now. I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. Okay, so last time I tried the shade. I wonder what color this truly is. So, let me just see. Oh, no. I was about to mess up my page. That is not the color that I want. I'm gonna try to outline, I think the bottom, the bottom in here. I think that's all we need. Maybe we do need it on that side. I don't know, let's try. Let's go this way, down at the bottom. You think that looks good? There, there. I don't know how many sides I should do since this is an octagon. It's got eight sides. Just to make it pop up off the page a little bit. You guys, this bullet journaling thing is so tricky. I just tried a bunch of different markers to see which one was gonna work. Nothing worked except for the grain. I just wonder if I need to go one more side. All right, we're going to go for it. Oh, I think I just messed it up. Oh, I think I just messed it up. Okay, so we're just going to leave it like that. We're not going to... Let's see if we can just darken these up just a little bit. I didn't want to use that other gray because it is too dark. So we're gonna do this. All right, so not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay. So I'm gonna have to like cover that up with a sticker. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna do that. Yo, trying to figure out how to do the bullet journaling is a tricky thing. So if y'all are bullet journaling, let me know how your journey is going. <laughs> Because mine can be a little bit rocky sometimes. So I do like that. It makes it pop up off the page a little bit. I wonder if that does look good. If the, Does that look good? I don't know. Like, I was just, just trying to see. I don't know. I pretty much have all my stickers mapped out. So this is the way the page will look. It'll look like that. Can y'all see everything? I have all my stickers, like, in the way. Okay, so, yeah. I don't need that page anymore. All right, so let's go ahead and pop in our Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, all of that. So we're gonna start up here for Monday. We're just gonna go ahead and place it kind of outside the box. I think that's how I wanna do that. Yeah, just slightly outside the box. Just something a little bit different. And plus, y'all know I don't like things that are straight all the time. Sometimes I want it to be catty cornered or out or, you know, just not straight. However. Ooh, look at it. It's coming alive. I love it. I love it when it comes alive. It's just so pretty. Wait, are we missing a number? 27, 28, 29, 31. Okay, no, we're not. So Saturday and Sunday. Saturday. 
and Sunday. Oh, I love it. Look how cute that is already. It is super duper cute already. All right, so let's add our numbers. So we'll go ahead and add our numbers. And actually, our numbers look rather large now that I'm putting them up here. Okay, so we might have to go with my other numbers that I really do. So we couldn't find the numbers that I actually wanted to use. So we're just gonna use these because they're clear. So I just wanted to see what one would look like. It's all right. I'm kind of upset that I can't find those numbers, but they are here somewhere. Um, I used them and, and I think I just placed them inside of one of my sticker books. So now at some point it'll just fall into my lap, probably literally. But it's all good. We're going to use these because these are clear and they're smaller. So we got 27. Now we need the first, the first and the second. The first and the second. All right. So boom. Okay. So we usually don't do the numbers or anything first, but we decided to. We're going to do that first this time. Okay. Now for some of the fun part. Let me think about what I was going to do. Because I, I think I was going to put this one. Um, should I do it over here? Or was I going to do it down here? I think I was going to do it up here. I don't know. Oh, we might have to. Hmm. I don't know exactly what I was going to put in this box, but I might have to do it this way. I might have to do it this way and take the other one. Um, okay. So, and this book is, what is this book called? Happy Illustrations book. So I guess I'm going to have to take it this way. I don't know exactly what I'm going to put in these boxes yet, but I just want to make sure that I have enough boxes. You know how that goes. You're just like, oh, I'm just going to make sure I have enough. So I think I'm going to put it just slightly over or maybe I should bring it down. I don't know. Let's kind of do it like this over here. But I know I just wanted several different quotes on here. So I don't normally do a whole lot of quotes. I thought that might look cute. And I wanted to add. Okay, so we're not going to add any florals yet. I'm kind of excited. Mm, 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 mm. All right, so I have this box here. I have this box. And I wanted it to go up here. Up here. I didn't want it completely straight with this octagon. I keep wanting to call them hexagons because I think that was, my brain was like, that's what we're aiming for, but that's definitely not what we got. Okay, we got hexagons. All right, so that's pretty straight there. And then I think I was gonna put the, was I putting the beauty and simplicity over here? Or was I going to do it over here? So let's do the happy over here. Which kind of stinks because we already have that one over here. Maybe we should do it over here. I just didn't want the same color, but I wanted to take the color across the page. Across both pages. Alright, so we're going to do the happy up there. And then there's beauty and simplicity right here. put that right down here okay there's that and then I had this note to self I wanted to place down and I was gonna put it right over here we're gonna line that up straight with that so that note to self oh that page is cute it's gonna be even cuter in just a minute I'm excited yes Okay, and then I was going to take this gold box and place it down here. 
And again, I'm just adding boxes just to be sure that I have enough space. Normally I do, but I just want to add just a few more. Now let's play with these stickers here. So we automatically know that we need to cover this up over here. So let's mask this with this flower here. Let's go ahead and line you up right there so we can mask it. Um, I want to take some of these florals, well these leaves, place them in various places along these hexagons. Whew. You know what? When you just add a flower to a page, it just makes the page come alive. I don't know. Is that just me? It's probably just me. I'm sorry. I get excited about them. Okay? I love them. Especially these because I'm not like a super floral person. But these florals that Happy Planner came out with, boy, oh boy. I don't know which way I should put this. Ooh, I think this way. Because that kind of like gives it some definition right there. I love it. I love it. Okay. Get it together, Jazz. Pull yourself back. Pull yourself back. All right. You know, you just get excited sometimes. What about here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So we're definitely going to put this one here because it is already looking fly right there. Super duper cute. I don't know if I should put any more on this page. Maybe right here. Should I just do like a, a basic leaf? Um, maybe this big one. Maybe we should try a smaller one. That way it doesn't, you know, overpower it. Maybe we should put it like here. No. Okay, so it needs to either come down or come off. One of the two. So let's see. Let's see what we should do. Should it do something like this? I don't think what I don't like is for it to be That look good okay I think that's okay I don't know if I should I'm not gonna add anything else to this paper, piece of paper right now we are gonna add something here and I think I want to do like these two florals one I want to go up here and let me see what that's gonna look like because I have two I want to take, yeah, I think I like that. Oh, we went too far over. So here, and then I want to take this one over this way. Okay. All right, and then uh, we definitely got to have something right here. So I'm going to take this one. And I just want this to be known to be something. Now, let me take a look in here and see if there's something we could put here that's also like a note to self, um, what we have going on, whatever, something like that, some sort of um, outline right there. Like a today, an important, here's the things to do. I don't like it because it's not... I just need something. Here's one that says, be brave girl. But I don't think that's, that's not in, what does these say? Okay, time to celebrate, happy birthday, that type of stuff. We don't want that. This one says happy. This one says you rock. This one is in our, the flower. Day off, explore, adventure. All right, so I don't think that we have one. We can use, um, let's just use this one. It says happy on it and it's gold. So let's just go ahead and use this and see. Okay, yeah, all right, looks good. I like it. 
All right, not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay, and I think maybe something over here and then we'll be done. You're like, what? That was quick. It was, wasn't it? Ha, 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 ha. That's what my goal is. I told you I wanted to make some shorter videos. Hopefully it is. It's probably not even as short as I think it is. But I just love this page. Should I have, like, just a leaf right here or something? I think it is super duper cute right now. Let's just take a look at this greenery right here and see what this looks like if it's placed up there. It looks kind of sort of out of place, so maybe not. What if we did it this way? If we did it this way? No, I think it's out of place, okay. Um, where it actually went, I don't know. Let's just put it there, that's the wrong way, okay. So here we are. I'm excited. I love it. I'm ready to use this already. I think it, it is absolutely beautiful. But then again, that's just me. So, <laughs> so I hope that you are enjoying this bujo that I have going on. Are we far enough up? Okay, so maybe we just need to go up a little bit. I don't know how much of that y'all missed, but hopefully not any of it. All right, so what we did was we did some octagons. I had in my head that we were going to do some hexagons. I was really hoping that I had this color pink so I can outline the boxes, but I had to go in with some gray. And then I just wanted to put various quotes across the page this time because I don't really put too many quotes on here, maybe one. Um, but this time I wanted to go in with something different. I think that this spread is very light and airy and I really do like it. It has, you know, just the various flowers across it. Not really various, it's just, it's the same flower just across the page. Um, I really do like the way that it turned out. I hope that you are bullet journaling with me. And Miranda, look at there. I am about to, I got so excited that I did not even tell you guys. Miranda has an awesome spread over on her channel as well. So go ahead and check out Miss Miranda, Mrs. Thinking of a Master Plan. I got so excited that it totally slipped my mind um, in the beginning. But <laughs> yes, go check her out. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this spread. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, go ahead and click that red subscribe button down below. Thank you for stopping by and guess what? We will see you in the next video.